Samsung recently launched their latest mid-range phones, the Galaxy A55 and A35, and we want to figure out why the A55 is 200 bucks more expensive. For that, Tanya and I went to Italy. Both phones have 6.6 .6 inches display and a similar look. On this bike train from Udine to Grado, I will compare the camera, battery life, thermals, GPS, and many other aspects of the phones. So stay with us on this adventure. I used both phones on default mode with adaptive brightness and tried to mimic a real day in the life scenario while traveling. Both phones were charged 100% in the morning, the trip had started around 10 in the morning and I was using a navigation app called Komoot to find our path through rural areas in Italy. The route is around 50 km or 30 miles, both phones have 5G on but most of the route do not have 5G support and the phones will connect to 4G instead. I'm going to place the phones in the bike bags while the screen and GPS both on. We passed through Udine, which is one of my favorite cities in Italy. Our path is part of the Alp Adriana cycling path that connects the Alps in Germany to the Adriatic Sea in Italy. After one hour of cycling, we took an unplanned break to visit a house that has 10 cats in it, or as Tanya says, Gatto Italiano. By the way, all the B-rolls in this video are taken by Galaxy S24 Snapdragon. Both the A55 and A35 have a triple camera setup. The main lens is 50mm, which is approximately what your eyes can see. The second is ultra wide, and the third is macro lens. Unfortunately, neither has a dedicated telephoto lens. Both ones can take 4K 30 frames per second videos. In theory, the A55 camera should do a better job since the sensor is larger than the A35s. But at least in day photos, the difference is not significant enough to be visible. Though this can change of course during the night. Now it is 11.20 and Samsung Galaxy A55 on the left side has 86% battery left with a temperature of 26.9 degrees Celsius and 80.4 degrees Fahrenheit, while the A35 has 86% battery with a temperature of 25.4 degrees Celsius and 77.7 .7 degrees Fahrenheit. So both phones are keeping it cool, which is great. We continued our way from Udine to a city called Palmanova, which has a crazy star-shaped architecture that is kind of surreal. What I love about Italian towns is their main square, or as they call it, Piazza Grande. So we went there directly to take some videos and photos and have a coffee. While taking this shot, I realized the color tones in the A55 is a slightly warmer and the A35 tone is more similar to that of S24. You can check the camera comparison of the A55 and S24 later oh as I link it to the video. Huh? I need to take off all my layers. It's too hot. Can you do it for content? <laughs> the weather was also getting hotter as were the phones. The selfie camera of the A55 is 32 megapixel while the A35 is 13 megapixel. During the day I could not spot any difference between the selfie photos but again that can change during the night. Right now the A55 on the right side is at 68% while the A35 is around 66%. Both ones have a similar temperature of 32 degrees with a great signal. We went to my favorite cafe and ordered this fancy tiramisu. Both ones take great portrait photos and I'm frankly impressed by their quality. I observed that A55 can take portrait photos even compared to a serious phones from my previous day. As I mentioned by just looking at the bodies of the phones, you cannot spot much of a difference. Both are 6.6 .6 inch and 120 hertz refresh rate. The A35's back is made out of plastic and A55's is made out of metal. And that's it. The main difference in my opinion between the two phones is the chipset inside them. The A35 uses the Exynos 1380 and A55 uses the Exynos 1480, which is one generation above. The version I used both have 256 GB of storage and 8 GB of RAM, which is plenty. As you can see, the RAM usage never goes beyond 7 GB, even when I'm multitasking on Android and there are plenty of buffer. We said goodbye to this magical city and continued our way to the sea. We passed through the bridge from land to Grado and this bridge is arguably one of the most beautiful bike paths in Europe. It is already 4pm and the Galaxy A55 is at 54% and 
while A35 is at 57% battery left. The A55 has a slightly lower temperature at 26 degrees Celsius, while A35 is at 28 degrees Celsius. Both ones did a great job tracking the activity and showed an identical distance of 56.2 km, which is very close to my bike computer, which shows 55 km. For American viewers, that's around 32 miles. Mm -hmm. We continued our way through the narrow streets of Grado to explore the city a bit. Cuteness capture. I took some photos with the main lens and again, it was very difficult to spot any difference between the two phones. In terms of video quality and especially stabilization, both phones do an okay job of stabilizing the scene. Nevertheless, neither of them can compete with the Galaxy S series such as S24 or S24 Ultra. We checked in a quarter before 8 and the A35 has 53% battery left while the A55 has 49% left. There is no 5G signal in Grado and both are connected to 4G. Then I opened Google Maps to walk to the center of Grado for some nightlife. Where we accidentally found that life bounce singing outside, it is really hard to find a difference between the cameras even at night time. But nevertheless, for a trained eye, you would notice that A55 is slightly sharper and captures more details. We walk towards the sea to the almost no light conditions to see how the selfie camera of the A55 would hold up. Buona mattina, mi son svegliato. Oh bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Una mattina mi son svegliato e ho trovato l'invaso. In night photos, the difference between the two phones is more prominent. For example, here the A55 captured the colors better while the pictures on the A35 is overexposed and the castle does not look the way it should. Or in this portrait photo, the A35 could not create the bokeh effect that was required for this scene while the A55 did a better job doing so. On the other hand, there are also photos in which both phones did a good job and produced a very similar outlook, capturing the vibe of the city very well. We went back to the hotel to eat dinner. So we separated the traditional roles of men and women. I'm the bike mechanic and Tanya is cooking dinner. Mostly I'm just hungry and I can't wait. I don't know how to make salad. That's sad. I don't eat vegetables at all. That's even sadder. <laughs> it's not. Very. Write down in the comment section if you eat vegetables. <laughs> it is now almost 10 p.m. and the Galaxy A35 has 42% left while the A55 has 40% left. I was also logging the data in the background and A55 used 1.64 drone watts on average while the A35 drew 1.63 watts on average. The average temperature on the A55 was 28.3 Celsius, while for the A35 it was 27.1 degrees Celsius. The A55 had their screen on for 4 hours and 8 minutes, and the A35 had it on for 4 hours and 11 minutes. The final result after a day full of adventure is 42% for the A35 and 38% for A55. My verdict is that both phones did a great job in terms of thermal management and battery life. If you like this kind of content, watch the camera comparison of A55 versus S24 on the left side or the battery comparison between the A55 and A35 on the right side next. Thanks for tuning in to Tecmo. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next one, bye!